is about total sales 30.7 billion dollars in arms sales. Boeing, the famous company that manufactures so-called aviation and civil planes, has made over total sales of 6. Uh, 6 68.7 billion dollars like in total sales. Not only that, but it has funneled over hundreds of millions of dollars into drone warfare. And Lockhead, Lockhead uh, Martin also has made over total sales of 46.5 billion dollars in total ammunition and aviation and air, aircraft carriers uh, in total sales. Now, we, we're here today to say no to the drones as continuous as possible. Now, this racist war not only comes from the post-9-11 world, but just look at the terminology of the drones. The first drone came out is that one that's the scale model. It's called a Predator drone. The upgrade of it is now called a Reaper drone. The missiles that they carry are called Hellfire drones. The most racist and obscured terminology to, in order to show that the United States is the supreme leader of the, United, of the world. That's the reality and that's the message that the US Empire wants to give to, to the world. There's a new drone base in Djibouti, another one in Niger, and there's continuous drone strikes every single day. The NYU and Stanford report came out with a statistic saying for every one so-called combatant there's 50 innocent civilians that die that continuously die and continuously die now i would like to put it back into the context of the so-called arab spring now federal laboratories and uh federal laboratories another corporation up in jamestown have been producing this enormous amounts of tear gas that they export to Egypt, to Syria, to uh, uh, to Saudi Arabia, to Bahrain, in order to use to suppress people uh, who are uprising against rogue dictatorships. And one last thing I would like to say is to put it to the connection between putting up puppet governments and to allowing drone strikes. Um, former Pakistani um, Musharraf said that he allowed to the drone strikes to go and air flight into Pakistan and to, to conduct military operation in, uh, in their sovereign nations. And that's the reality that we have to face, brothers and sisters. No more wars, no more drones. Thank you. I have just a few more speakers and then we'll start marching. Our next speaker is uh, Toby Blomay from Code Pink. Please welcome Toby. Yay, Code Pink. Good, Code Pink friends, come on up. Everyone in Code Pink, Martha, wherever you are. Thank you, yeah, look a little bit higher. Okay. Um, I'm here today in solidarity with all of you and all of our brothers and sisters around the world that are being targeted with drone missile attacks. And I'm with an organization called Code Pink, and Code Pink is at the forefront in this country against drone strikes. We've been active since 2009 when the public knew nothing about drones, and we started to find out, and we've been going down to Creech Air Force Base where the predators and reapers are flown from the desert of Nevada. They're controlled from there, flying these planes thousands of miles from Nevada, and lots of innocent people are being killed. And I want to take a moment to say why I'm here today in particular. I'm here for this man, Tariq Aziz. Raise your hand if you know who Tariq Aziz is. Okay, Tariq Aziz was a 16-year-old boy in Pakistan. He lost a loved one by a U.S. drone strike. And this, in 2011, in, in uh, October, he was in a, in a jirga in Islamabad. He came all the way from Waziristan in the tribal region to Islamabad to participate in a meeting for people all over the country to, to work on what are they going to do to stop these U.S. drone strikes in Pakistan. And he pledged 